Is this the stream now? Let's do it. Okay. Part two. Crimson flower. Ethereal moon. Beyond escape. It is Imperial Year 1185. Half a decade has passed since Emperor Edelgard ascended the Imperial throne. Yet the continent of Fodlin still remains lost in a tempest of turmoil and bloodshed. In the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, King Dimitri has welcomed Archbishop Rhea and her knights, who were driven out of Garrick Mach to the kingdom capital. As they work to build a unified front, the war with the Empire rages on to the west. Meanwhile, Claude, leader of the Alliance, staves off Imperial intervention by strategically stirring up conflicts between Lester Lords in an effort to feign neutrality. As events unfold, Edelgard and her Black Eagle Strike Force Dad. begin to take action in an attempt to break the war's current state of deadlock. She's even got Ghost Gerald saying it now. It makes me so happy to see a big spam of my emotes in the chat. I'm so happy. You. How long do you intend to sleep? Hi, Sothis. Are you going to come back to me this time? Your body is awake. Your eyes must open now. And you must find the strength to stand upon those legs of yours. Like so much rain, a pool of blood has fallen to the ground. As spears and arrows pierce the earth, it weeps. And even now, it weeps. In order to survive, they kill. And so, the people of this world are lost in an abyss of suffering. They weep as well. The only one who truly knows the nature of such things is I. Or rather, you. Who? Excuse me? Are you saying you have forgotten who I am? How dare I'm you? I'm sorry. Get on your feet. <laughs> right now. I'll coddle you no more. You are just like a child, always needing me to hold your hand. Hey, are, are you awake? Hey, what's up, villager? Where am I? We're in a village at the base of the monastery. What are you doing in a place like this? I honestly didn't expect to find someone floating away down the river. Garrig Mach is upstream of here, but that place was abandoned. What do you mean abandoned? Huh? You don't know? The Church of Saros isn't there anymore. Though, there have been some folks still living there in the five years since... Well, you know. Regardless, the Imperial Army has taken over now. Five years? What? Um... Are you feeling all right? You didn't hit your head or anything, I, did you? Yeah, I did, often. I think, I think rocks fell on it. It's the ethereal moon of the year 1185. It's been nearly five years since the monastery fell. Tomorrow <clears throat> was supposed to be the Millennium Festival, but who's got time to think about things like that? Oh, the, the festival, uh, right. Yeah, that's what I said. But with the war and the Archbishop still missing at all, I doubt there's a soul to be found who has enough blessings worth counting. Hey, slow down, will ya? Where do you think you're going? I'm going to the monastery. Are you crazy? The Imperial Army is Yeah, there. it's fine. They know me. Come on, I, I promise I won't say you're a coward. Just forget about going anywhere near the monastery. Funny that Dimitri's not you there this time. I tried to stop you. Got it? It's not on my conscience if you wind up dead. No need to worry about me. I'll be alright. Unbelievable. Five years ago to the day. If things had continued on as they were, today would have been the Millennium Festival. Halt! Who's there? Boo! <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> Professor? Also a little bit less, uh, less interesting and epic of an intro than Dimitri's was either. We got an anime cutscene there too. Villager dude said Ray is missing when she's in Fargus. Um, that might have been 
Because they just reused the line from the other ones. Is it really you? But I searched everywhere and never found a trace. My teacher. What have you been doing all this time? Where have you been? I was dead. Joking? At a time like this? You do realize it's been five years since you disappeared? Yeah, and I literally like dead. I, w I didn't eat for five years. You think that's, that's, that's gotta be dead. Do you have any idea how guilty I felt? <clears throat> how broken my heart was? I searched high and low after you vanished. Although there was no proof, I somehow knew you were alive. All this time, I led everyone as best I could and fought with all my heart. It's been a difficult path to walk alone. <sighs> Welcome back, my teacher. I'm so happy that you're safe. Five years. Such a short time, but it feels like an eternity ago. That's a nice pick. <laughs> Do you still feel the way you did Pick. all those years ago. You said then that you would fight at my side no matter how many enemies we should amass. As for me, my resolve has not faltered. I'm determined as ever to see this through to the end. I will defeat the false goddess. I will save this world from those creatures and give humanity its freedom back. So, my teacher, are you prepared to stand with me? Sure, I guess. <laughs> I... I thank you. Truly. <clears throat> now then, I assume you understand the situation at hand, yes? I really was asleep slash dead this whole time. I don't know. Another joke? Or... Are you telling the truth? I suppose you must be. In that case, I'll tell you all that has transpired as you slumber these past five years. And that is where we are now. The war is at a stalemate. Dimitri is the new king of Fargus. It's clear that his territory will continue to support the church. Oh, he wasn't deposed or sentenced or anything like that. He's just straight up the king. Okay. Meanwhile, Claude's leadership has thrown the Alliance into chaos. He maintains neutrality in their internal conflict. The situation has created a deadlock. We've been awaiting an opportunity for our squadron to return to the monastery. With you in the fray, I believe the state of the war will shift immediately. The church, as well as the kingdom and the alliance. The time has come to eliminate them all. Why do you hate on Claude? He's not doing anything. The kingdom and the alliance. Why though? Although we were of different houses, we were companions who lived and learned together. Some of our ranks are hesitant to battle against them, and against the people of their homelands. However, knowing that you're alive is sure to raise their spirits. Good. Well then, I believe it's time for a little reunion. The Black Eagle Strike Force never lost- There it is! <laughs> they knew you were alive, and have been awaiting your return. Let's not keep them waiting any longer. All things considered, um, a much more, um, like, what the fuck, like, giant conflict and surprise thing in the chapters leading up to this, but the actual transition from young, from pre-time skip to post-time skip and the Black Eagles here has been underwhelming and, dare I say, it feels rushed compared to the first one of Blue Lions. Obviously, the lack of anime cutscenes is a big part of that. But, I don't know, it's just, just like, Elle was just like, she's just here. She's just sort of waiting. And I go, just happen to talk to the Emperor. Hanging out in an abandoned church. And then it's like, okay, you're alive, cool. Here's, here's the situation of things. Are you ready to go? Let's go. Oh, okay. I was looking for something a little more heartfelt, but okay, I guess we're fighting now. Well, she is Emperor. Wow. That face is certainly familiar. I am glad to see you alive and well, Professor. Everybody growed up now. Hey guys, what's up? Professor, it's Wait. me, Bernie. Do you remember me? I can't believe you're here. It's also different to the Blue Lions, but I guess that, that one makes sense. Yeah, because she just said that everybody already knows you. It, like, we've all been waiting or whatever. We're, we're just, sorry, the squad is hanging out here. 
Whereas Dimitri was alone. And they just sort of filtered in in the battle as sort of a coincidence. Or for the reunion we all promised, but they came independently. That's another that it feel it feels way less I don't know, it It might just be first house bias, but it feels less intense. I think I think I think it's just first house bias, but honestly I when I saw everyone here growing up, I was for me. You, dude, you, you keep cutting out. Please, I can't, I can't say it enough. You gotta speak up. It's not, it's not high enough to make it past your noise filter. It feels like this root lacked a lot of vital polish, and I hate that since this root holds a special place. I can't believe it. <laughs> is this a dream? Can we really be this lucky? This is not dreaming. Our professor is with us again. Welcome to the back. I mean, welcome back. No, no, the first one is fine. Welcome to the back. Our group isn't the same without you. I am overjoyed to see you again. It's been so long. Seeing you again fills my heart with hope. Great. Now everything will be easy. Um, that's great. You're safe, professor. I'm deeply, deeply moved. It's, it's so moved that I'll be able to get back to my naps. Quite the reunion, isn't it, professor? Everyone's happy to see you. Come on, Edelgard. You must be happier than all of us combined. She no. took it really hard when you disappeared, Professor. Little head duck. Don't sweat. Of course, we did our very best in your absence. And there was never a day that we doubted you would return to us. Edelgard has been leading us as Emperor. But after you disappeared, it became apparent that you were her anchor. It gives me regret to be admitting this, but... Our power is not enough. The only one who can be meeting Edelgard's expectations is you, Professor. Most impressive of all is your uncanny ability to bring a smile to everyone's face. In the years since you vanished, we have not lost anyone from our ranks. We all longed for your presence and your leadership. Myself included. It seems fitting to view this as a new beginning for the Black Eagle Strike Force. We already have our target. There, there it is again. Every conversation. <laughs> yes, we must eliminate the alliance before moving on to fight the kingdom and the church. They're not doing anything. You're gonna go after them first. <laughs> it's like, hmm. We have great enemies in the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Dimitri is king, and Rhea's up there. We should plan our first move by attacking those guys over there, twiddling their thumbs. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, they know Claude will at least try to do something if they try to go after the kingdom. <laughs> they don't! He's maintaining, he's maintaining neutrality! That's what they just said, neutrality, not on either side. <laughs> They're going after the dude who is intentionally trying to stay out of the conflict first. <laughs> However... That doesn't necessarily mean we must Is it neutrality if you're attacking alliance. both forces? They're not, though! They said neutrality! House Regan stands against the Empire. Therefore, our target is Deirdre, the aquatic capital. We must cross the Aramid River, which separates the Empire and the Alliance. To do that, we must take the largest bridge across it. The Great Bridge of Murden. Murden connects the monastery and the imperial capital to the east. It is the shortest route there. An alliance stronghold has been built at the Great Bridge. We'll take that and then head north. At the same time, we must defeat the one who defends it, Judith von Daphne. Ooh, we're gonna fight Judith this time, okay. If we can also take control of Daphne territory, it would be greatly beneficial to us. Prepare yourselves. The next battle will be a momentous one. Join me, my friends as we begin our journey to bring peace and solace to this war-ravaged world. Okay, um... Let's go up a bit. Same keyhole day, there's a hymn recital. Sure, we're just back to school now. Um, with Dimitri, you had to retake the monastery and it was a whole thing, but the eagles managed to hold on to it the whole time, so the stakes feel less. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Forgot about Fer Ferdy's Fabio hair. Wish I could say the same. Congratulations on not dying for the last five years, Ferdinand. Now to make up for lost time. 
<laughs> We're gonna kill you so hard. Do not suffer the neutral to live. Leave Claude alone. He just wants to stay out of it. <laughs> Feigning neutrality. Mm. The alliance is neutral? That just sounds like an enemy, but with extra steps. Yeah, Al just wants to kill everybody. This this really doesn't seem so much like um like saving the world. This is I I I can't I can't get over this. The first thing is attack the neutral party. No, no, not not cool, not cool. <laughs> This song reaches the goddesses. Oh, hi, Mercy. <laughs> First thing I see of you is at uh, choir practice. Professor, let me sing for you. This is why I called Edelgard a little Nobunaga. <laughs> we're the protagonists, but that doesn't necessarily mean we're the good guys. That's fair. Yeah, I have a whole exploration time here. What? This just throws me straight back into regular... Regular goings on. Yeah. In the lions, the monastery was overrun by thieves, so you didn't have time to go explore. You had to get rid of the thieves before. Here, since they've been maintaining the monastery throughout all five years, you can just start exploring right away. So Handjob's a mage right now. Yep, as as we stated. He did not get to upgrade for free, but I'm gonna upgrade him now since why not? Let's put him back in his coat. L is doing the equivalent of starting a bar fight by hitting a bystander in the back of the head with a beer bottle. Yes! <laughs> this doesn't need to happen, L. <laughs> of course I passed. I am a scholar. Lysithia is currently equipped on maid. She did not get a promotion for free. She has the ability to go into warlock, like no problem, and it looks like that's the uh, the outfit that she should be defaulting to. So let's make her a warlock. Alliance is in a fragmented state between pro-empire and no alliance. Much easier to go after than a unified country with a crowned king by the church. Easier, sure, but right? No. Perfect comprehension. So you got strength for being a warlock and five to both of your defenses. Cool. <clears throat> Seeing her defenses go up by nine when going to warlock. Well, up to nine. No, she's at 12 and 19. Yeah, she, she went, it was by eight, wasn't it? She got, no, 10, 10. She got five to both of them. Her, her defense, specifically. So Mercy's looking nice and cute in that uh, heavy armor. Nothing's really changed about her look. Bishop is the default class. This is what she looks like. Oh, it looks, it looks so good. <laughs> It looks really nice. Too bad. You're in a fortress night. Wear it forever. Um, oh, this is also the time when I get to actually experiment a little bit and look at what their uh, classes are supposed to be by what they're wearing. Yeah, so Manuela is in Pegasus Knight. Priest is still what she wears as her default. What about advanced classes? No, 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 no. Warlock, no. Bishop. Yeah, Manuela just doesn't keep her outfit for anything that's not priest. Huh. All right, well... That means I kind of have to ignore that default costume rule I was going to make for past the time skip, because she's got to take an advanced class somehow. 
Don't forget the supports. Yep, I'll do those. Mercy may not have her floof, but she makes up with it, up for it with that adorable little hat. Yeah, but then I then I put her in armor knight, so she doesn't have that either. Pooey. Yeah, Lysithia, I'm pretty sure is just set to be a warlock. None of these are gonna, none of these are gonna keep the outfit. Oh, that uh, purple thing is just on her hair. Interesting. Um, Mercedes definitely set up to be a bishop. Ash, as a warrior. Duh, damn. That's not default uh, clothes. It means I gotta put him back to sniper. Might actually have to pick between uh, between Ash and Bernie then. He looks good in Fortress Knight. I like the blue. That's what he's set up as, so I'll have to move him back to Sniper then. Oh, he looks really good in most of these. I like the blue accents on all of his costumes. They, they just look real spiffy. It definitely suits him. <clears throat> Felix as an assassin is wearing assassin's garb, okay? That means he's gotta go back to Swordsmaster. I mean, like, I don't know. That's that that's sort of an addendum that I added onto it that might have been cool. But I don't know that I have to keep to it. Like, keeping them in whatever their default class is, aside from master master classes. It means I have much less room to experiment, but they will be good at whatever it is they're doing. And like Going to Assassin is not even going against things that Felix is good at. But it's not what he's, like, set to be. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, it seems like Petra's, like, the only one that actually has her, uh, her costume apply to um, two different classes so far. I knew that she would because I'd seen her pre-time skip, but... That also gave me hope that some other people would too, and it doesn't look like it. So Petra can be a wyvern rider and an assassin. How I see it, keep it for the Black Eagles, but for everyone else it's not necessary. Keep it only for Black Eagles, not for other houses. If we weren't keeping Mercedes as a Fortress Knight, then I'd say go with whatever class you want. I also identified Mercedes as, like, being exempt from that rule early on, because I just wanted her to be a Fortress Knight. <clears throat> Dorothea. Yup, Dancer keeps the outfit. Yeah, and I guess Dorothea does too, because Dancer keeps the outfit, as does Warlock. So she's got two options, and Petra's got two options. Ingrid also has two defaults, Cavalier and Pegasus Knight. True, but it's weird that an, an intermediate class would keep the outfit for Ingrid. You're correct that it did, but it's weird. You see an advanced <clears throat> class version of Pegasus Knight? There is not, no. Here you go. Bernie's a sniper, has got her outfit, so that's fine. Personally, have them master their native class, but have them end up as their strongest slash best fitting role at the end game. That's the thing, I think that that native class, like, is their best fitting role. <laughs> that's the point. <clears throat> Kaspar as a, so Brigand keeps it for him, but that's an intermediate. He does not keep it for hero. I'm guessing, yeah, for warrior, he gets it too. Not for grappler. So he's set to be a warrior. It's really weird class choicing. I wish there was an option to make them all keep their costumes. 
Leinhardt is obviously set to just be a bishop. Warlock changes his outfit. Nobody else keeps it. Ferdy's a paladin. Clearly. Ferdy is a hero, does not. I would expect that hero would still work for him, since swords and axes are two things that he likes. But apparently not. <clears throat> Anyone that's set to be a hero. That sucks. I like heroes. <clears throat> Hubert, duh, Dark Bishop. Not Warlock. Not Warlock. And then L as an <clears throat> armored lord currently, so yay, she gets the heavy armor. Fortress Knight does not keep it. She she puts back on all of the steel when she goes to Fortress Knight. But I'm cool with uh, having an armored lord. This game is not kind of the hero class. No. Um, yeah, so... Weird that you guys are saying keep it for the Black Eagles, but ignore it for everybody else. I have to ignore it for Manuela, because she can't stay as a priest forever. But everybody, and, and Mercedes, I'm choosing to ignore it, but everybody else could go back to their basics and still be fine. <clears throat> It means I won't have a brawler, but I guess I have myself for that, and then I'm moving Caspar back to axes and Ash back to bows. I'll have two snipers to choose from. So if you want Caspar to use fists, you can always just make him a war master. That's true. He will potentially end the well, I mean, even as a even as a um what is it? A a warrior, he can use the fists. It's not as to whether or not he can't use them. It's whether or not the class I give him is meant for that. But okay, let's uh, let's make sure that everybody's set in their uh, necessary default classes, since it seems like they're going to be there for a while. 70% 70, 70 chance to go into Warrior. So I gotta buy something for Caspar here. One Advanced Seal. Uh, certifications, Caspar. Don't fail this. Don't fail this, Caspar. Bar. <clears throat> Good. Three resistance. You know what? Yeah, I, I think I'm overthinking this. I'm going to leave them in their default classes. It means they will have less overall abilities mastered, but that also means that I will have more room to just fill them up with prowess abilities if I need to, and those get really good. So I'll have less options, but that's kind of the whole point of doing a vanilla run. It's just... Stick to it. So we need another one for Ash, another one for Felix, and then that should be it. <clears throat> Marketplace, item shop, buy. Two more. Cool. Marketplace, nope, um, certification, certifications. Bam. Because I'm leaving, I'm probably going to leave me as the enlightened one for the rest of the game, too. Not that I want to be stuck in that, but that's the one that the game gave me. Ash. God damn it. I'll do better next time. Yeah, that that was the biggest thing. It was it was it making it feel like usual fire emblem where I don't really get a choice. I have to just run with the units as they're given to me. 
kind of how I did my first one as well. Easy. I just made them what they wanted to be. Okay, quick exploration, and by quick I mean this is gonna, this the whole thing is actually running for another four hours at least, because talking to everybody takes an hour and a half, and then the battle too. Professor. Hey, Caspar. So you have like 20 hey, supports, Professor, they think. something's been bothering me. Remember that suspicious guy I chased after back when I was a student? A knight scolded me for it, but at the time I really thought I was doing the right thing. Now that I've had more experience on the battlefield, though. I've been looking for you. There isn't much time, so I'll keep this- Actually, I don't want to get all the supports. I'll explain that after this. The knights <clears throat> encountered a band of brigands while out marching. It was hard fought, but we prevailed. Our soldiers are highly trained, but the enemy was formidable, and we weren't expecting combat. There were a number of casualties among our troops. Why report this to me? There is something I wanted to bring to your attention. No. Later, Reggie. The brigands all bore identical tattoos of a scorpion on their arms. Please keep an eye out for that mark in the future. Oh no. All right, scorpion marks. If you'll excuse me, I need to get back to my duties. Heck of a coincidence, right? As soon as I mention that suspicious guy, this happens. Yeah, Caspar, it's almost like you called them back just to talk to me about them. You're 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 suspicious here. But some of the knights died in combat. They died because of what I did five years ago. This is my fault. If I'd stayed quiet and tracked the guy down like you said, we would have stopped those brigands sooner. And I wouldn't have blood on my hands. Not necessarily. It's no use trying to comfort me. You know I'm right. Just say no. it. No. Those poor knights. It's all my fault. I won't agree with you, Caspar. Caspar has a guilt complex. Yeah, it seems like it. That's coming up, uh... In a few different ways. Yes, you're right. Um, anyways, yeah, I don't want to just mash through all... You all right there? I don't want to just mash through all the supports, because th I did that in the Blue Lions, and I was like, this feels like an overwhelming amount of info, as if they've all been doing this for months already. I'm gonna wait until the second battle to, like, mash through some of those supports. I mean, aside from maybe L, because I want to see that one. Also, I have to find her, don't I? That's gonna be the... the boo part. Let's just do a lap. No lost items to worry about. We'll talk to everybody, and then I'll... The supports will unravel as I come across them, I'm sure. Yes. Edelgard is controlling the Empire. She is putting the pressure on the Kingdom and Alliance. Empire and religion are at open war. It will be difficult for us at first, but corrupt nobles are many. That means the common people will rebel and be joining our side. Yay, commoners! I know, no. Professor. The battle tides will... It's getting uh, late. ...will turn. I have certainty. Sure, later. Thanks for chatting. This is, I'm just this gonna try. I'm just gonna try. I, I gotta, I gotta try to get rid of what this, I have left. This... 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 So Petra's Petra's out for this. For five years I've fought for the Empire. I've cut down hordes of enemies. Now I have the same look in my eyes that the boar used to have in his. Oh, Felix, are you getting a crisis of identity? The look of a savage beast who loves nothing but destruction and violence. I don't see that look in your eyes. I hope not. You and Edelgard must not disappoint me. Mark my words. The future you're building had better be worth all this bloodshed. Oof. You scary. Any of these yours? I know nothing. 
who? Okay, um, what's the tournament? Advanced sword tournament? I can do this. Um, Manuel is okay with swords. Felix is awesome with them. Petra's also real good. Ferdy can use them, but he doesn't have any abilities for it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'll throw Felix at it. I don't know if he'll be able to use his shield, though. So we'll only go in with 14 defense. But he's got sword fair and sword crit. Whereas Petra, she's a wyvern rider and she's not an assassin right now. Or I could throw L at it with a D plus and just trust that her insane amount of defense will carry her through it. Let's let's throw let's throw the armor lord at this. Twenty eight or higher. I guess Petra's twenty eight. She'd definitely be fast enough, but I worry that she would uh, get hurt a lot. Yep, zero damage. She's not fast enough to double. But she will hurt them. You're weak. For the fate of Foden. Okay. <clears throat> Same deal here. Your death is not in vain. It's just it's just like side battles. I'm gonna skip through them. I have to put a little bit of gas on this because I don't want to stay up forever tonight. And this is, yeah, you guys are right, longer than I thought it was going to be. Oh, fuck. I might not win this one. We might run out of time. She has a The Black Eagle Strike Force shield. <laughs> she wrote the name on it with a Sharpie. Come on, Al, get another shot. Good. Your death is not in vain. He, he's not dead. It's a tournament. Did you kill that man, Al? Why did you do this? If I can't do it in five turns, I'm not going to win this one. Or if I miss once. Yeah. I lose. Just from time. That sucks. All right, Felix, I'll waste one more time trying to put you into this. Don't let me down. You're a swords master now. You're supposed to be really, really good at this. Exactly did the same thing. I threw L into the rest of the melee tournaments because she was the only one that could handle the fights. Dimitri was pretty good at this in the first run, too. Yeah, I'm worried about him uh, needing needing all the heals. Because he's definitely going to take damage here. You haven't earned... Sixteen, I can't do that. <clears throat> it was meant to be. It's good that he's fast enough to double everybody. No one had the level of strength and defense that she had. Yeah, done. Elle's got a lot of strength and defense, but she doesn't have the speed that it takes to like, oh God, seriously? I ain't gonna win this. We've got equivalent health and he's fast enough to double me. I'm gonna lose this tournament. I just don't have anybody that's well suited for it. Alright, 
What's done is done. I can't, I can't do it. No silver sword for me. Professor. Not now, Hubert. I will speak with you another time. I like how it cuts the music as if he died. It's still an intense moment. You lose. Go yeah. home. All right, I'm ready to fight. Let's do this. Slow down, slow down. You're right. I gotta keep it under control or I'm gonna wear myself out too quickly. Maybe I'll just get rid of a few monsters. Or is that too risky right before a mission? It's a little risky. Maybe, maybe, maybe don't do that either. What's this? 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 What's 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 that? What's no, I, I feel like these things belong to people that just why do I have so many items left? I went down the whole list last month. There's no reason I should still have this many things. Professor. What's 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 that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? <laughs> right. Check in with the gardening. You have some flowers for me, don't we? Yeah, these things have been growing for like six years. There should be this should be a bigger harvest, I think. I think you're holding out on me. Vegetable, vegetable, Angelica, and some gift flowers. Yes. Cultivate, throw the Caledonian soil. Good. La, 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 la. Professor, oh my, it's so good to see You're you. You're singing! These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. Oh. <laughs> it's incredible to see you again after five She's years. She's just happy. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. That's nice, I like that one. Um... Take I'm sorry. the I'm sorry. things I'm sorry. from I'm sorry. me, I'm please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shame nobody ever says my name. Just the professor. Cool. That's I. My eventual kids will love seeing that. Uncredited professor. Nameless professor. Curious to know how Petra's doing? Nope. Not this month. Working here for a few years now. There are plenty of others working here too. Since the acolytes and students aren't here, it's up to us to pick up the slack. What's the point of working here, though? I have to keep my chin up. I have good friends in both the Alliance and Fargus, so this fighting weighs heavily. No. I can't bear the thought of battling the Knights of Saros to the death. I have to keep my chin up, though, right? Let's press on together, Professor. Mercedes, you're precious. <laughs> um. I'm relieved you're here, Professor. It seems we've reached a stalemate on the war front. I admit I'm feeling apprehensive about fighting the Alliance. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. No. I have to shelve my personal feelings. There are bigger things at play here. I'll fight with full force. I'm counting on you to lead us to victory, Professor. I'll do what I can. Hey, one of them was hers. Excellent. Okay, good, good. So, moving things. There's somebody north of here I can talk to. You, soldier. Hello. The north side of the Great Bridge of Merton is in the territory of Acheron of the Alliance. He's known as the Weather Vane. He's a notoriously flippant man. A man like that doesn't have the guts to give it all for the defense of that bridge. Good to know. No. Since the great nobles lost their standing, the regulation of the merchant houses has relaxed somewhat. You'd probably have thought that would make it easier for us to profit. But the world isn't so simple. <sighs> the war has made the price of goods unstable, causing no end of hardship for the people. That makes sense. Yeah. 
They say war is good for the economy, but like everything going all crazy nuts. So I, without live governments to control those things, I can totally understand why instability would be worse. Wartime economy is good for a country that has like a tight grip on it. I need a favor. Some soldiers stationed at Fulton's Lock and abandoned their post. Um, persuade them to join you. So that's just like a battle. We can do that another time. Edelgard is turning the country into America. <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> Eagles. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. What's that? Do I have brothers in the church? You really are well informed. My older twin works for the Knights of Saros. But I think he's just a grunt. Not a noble gatekeeper like yours truly. Unlike me, he's very devout. He left the Empire a long time ago. We'll have to kill him then. I hope you know this. But no. A moment, please. By making an enemy of the church, disorder is running rampant among the populace. It's quieted down over these last five years, though. The well-being of Her Majesty is steadily improving. It's good. I'm glad she's doing okay. Um, anything around hey. here? I don't see Aww. any stray items hey, yeah. loon about. Professor? Professor? I'll speak with you later, Manuela, but thank you for letting me know you care. Hi. Hey there. Ah, a new face. I am Randolph von Berg. You're just hanging out now? Why are you here? I'm the guardian of this place. Wait a moment. I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Five years ago. Ah, yes. You're Her Majesty's professor. You're alive? Um, oh, this is my little sister, Fleisch. She's just a rookie, but she's helping me as my assistant. Uh, hello. I'm Fleisch von Bergleys. It's nice to meet cool, you. Cool, I won't have to kill you both this time. I know I'm inexperienced, but I'm gonna do my best. You can count on me to look after my big brother. I've heard you're planning to march into Alliance territory. I'll be here to guard the fort. People think this isn't the same gatekeeper. No, I'm pretty sure it's the same gatekeeper. Because he said the other one works for the Knights. Professor? But, um... Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Wait, maybe it is different because the the greetings professors read a little bit differently. What's that? Do I have brothers in the church? My older twin works for the Knights of Saros. Unlike me, he's very devout. Huh. You might be right. It might be different. Another bargain bin version of Caspar, the female type this time. <laughs> with the Kingdom Army near the Western Front. But this is the first time the Alliance Army has had an honest-to-goodness fight. I hear their leader's pretty competent. But the Alliance Army is pretty tough, too. You might be right. I think I might have finally gotten rid of the incompetent gatekeeper. Maybe. Worth it. It was all worth it. All the innocents that have died these past five years have been worth it because we... We finally found a reason to fire that gatekeeper. <laughs> You're out of your room. Are we leaving for battle? I heard it's a long march, but it's fine. I've had plenty of time to stay inside lately, so I think it's time I went out. Yeah, I can do this. No more Bernie Bear. Bernie Bear? Oh, yeah. People call me Bernie Bear since I hole up in my den all the time. Not anymore. That though. sounds adorable. <laughs> Um, okay, well. Take the things, take the things from me, please. Take something, anything. Fook. Alright, well, we'll get there. I really do want to speak with you, Mercy, but another time, I promise. Professor? Mm -hmm. Professor? Hmm. We must crush House Daphneel. Within the territories of the Alliance, 
The Gloucester and Daphnal houses dominate the West. House Gloucester has always supported the Empire. There's not much chance of them defying us. So all that needs to be done to restore peace in the West now is to crush House Daphnal. Not Regan? I thought you were after Regan. The last five years have been difficult at times. My relationship with Edelgard is rather contentious due to the incident with my father. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon my family. So she just really wants to get rid of you at any opportunity, eh? Sounds right. Ire, I must play my part in the Imperial Army. Edelgard intends to abolish the nobility, but I know I can dissuade her from doing so. Ferdy, don't. It's for the betterment of all of humanity. Believe me. Nobody wants nobles around except the nobles. Pardon me. The last my relation never has do Edelgard. How? Oh, good. One more gone. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. All right, hit up the church up top here. Oh wow, they actually changed all of the flags to be red. Where were they red before? I don't know. There are no nobles in a Marrowed Land. <laughs> You can convince her, you say. Hmm, but can you convince me? Because I have her ear a lot more so than you do. Hey. What else is kicking around here? People used to believe the goddess once fell here from the blue sea star, but according to astronomical research, the life from that star takes millions of years to reach us. Lies about the goddess abound. <laughs> Lies. Hey. I'm fine with that. <laughs> with L just using science. I was so surprised to hear that the faith of Saros was a sham. My eyes nearly popped out of my skull. But just because the church lied to us doesn't mean that the goddess isn't real. That's my take on it anyway. I feel very anxious with no one to pray to. The Almirans want to take her guns. You gonna let them? Oh God, let's let's not go down that road. I have opinions, and uh, and I'd rather not espouse them towards the end of a long Fire Emblem stream. Need something? See you again soon. Since you came back, everyone's been smiling. Just you being here makes an incredible difference. I can't express how reassuring it is to see you. Oh. Thanks, buddy. Any of these yours? Okay, so Ash has been completely, um... ...dunned on that front. Me? After the battle five years ago. The Imperial Army occupied Garrig Mark. The cathedral and several other buildings were destroyed, but we've done some repair work here and there, and we're using the buildings as a base of operations. As for me, well, the church moved its headquarters to Fargus, and I've seen no reason to follow. When I returned to Enbar, I received a summons from Her Majesty, and I chose to answer. Okay, yeah, so El was just... Come along, Manuela. I'd like to have you in the army. And she says yes. Teach me faiths. Let's get better at faiths. Hey. So many supports to do, but the f so Linhart doesn't have it with anybody, but you could you could get it with so many people. So let's throw you up with Dorothea here. Just that there's one more thing to slightly build towards. You can both use the faith experience. Good. I'll keep my voice down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention. But how loud is too loud? I may sound terrible, but you won't notice when everyone else sings too. My thoughts on the Death Knight. If Manuel is willing to stick around, how bad can he be? Or, it's kind of ludicrous that she's willing to hang around here with the whole death knife thing. Two very different takes on that. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, you two are up here then. Professor, I'm sorry to have dragged you into the fight again so soon after our reunion, but you appeared at a most opportune time. I'm truly humbled by your support, my teacher. Thank She's you. She's so brightly, vividly red. I hope I'm not rusty. You may be worried, but you shouldn't be. You always manage to pull through. <laughs> Make sure you're ready to head out, okay? You teach me axes and heavy armors, but I can't use either of those, so oh well. <laughs> Yours? A lot, 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 a lot. Yeah, I don't think the Death Knight just slipped her mind. She seemed pretty vengeful the last time. Allow me to brief you on the details of our situation. The Empire firmly controls the western portion of Fargus. However, the central and eastern regions continue to put up heavy resistance. The strongholds in these regions are Aryan Road, the fortress city, and Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. We cannot control Fargus until we have taken both of these cities. As for the Alliance, Houses Gloucester and Ordelia seem predisposed to capitulate to us. However, due to interference from Houses Regan and Goneril, we have yet to secure their cooperation. Claude obviously hopes to keep the Alliance whole through diplomacy. But because we have had to focus our efforts against the Church until now, our forces have yet to meet his. We have only recently begun to take the fight to Alliance territory. Okay, so recently. So you are doing this over time. That doesn't change it, actually. It's still weird to me. Quest for you. Assist us in securing more resources. I don't want to give you my foods! Ugh. Well done, Professor. Thank you. Those are rare foods! <laughs> you know how hard it is to grow tomatoes? Professor, do you know how happy I was to hear you were still alive? I'll tell you how happy. For the past two days, I haven't had my morning or my afternoon nap. What? You were taking those naps every day? Well, as long as we weren't marching. Can't sleep much then. <sighs> but it's not for want of trying. What can you teach me? Oh, you can also teach me about fates, and you're really good at it. Hmm. Teach me about fates. I need to get my uh, fate skill up to S2. Yours? Who are you and what have you done with Linhart? <laughs> Putting in effort. Pfft. This can't be right. Hey, handjob. You finally joined us, have you? I attached myself to the Imperial Army as well. Seemed the thing to do. I feel I owe it to Edelgard to set my past feelings about the Empire aside. I am happy to help her. It's strange, isn't it? After five years, the three professors are together once more. Hmm. I am most curious, though. You say you were asleep for five whole years. Incredible. Perhaps this is another effect of your crest. I do look forward to investigating you in greater detail. So do the... We could talk about that, sure. Wonderful news. So do the two professors come along, like, regardless if you recruit them or not? Are, are they the, like, sort of default faculty that come with you for the Empire? Because it seems like they have voice lines specifically set up for this. They don't. Okay. So that killed one of my theories about the different houses. Because their lines aren't like, I decided to join because I wanted, because like I was with you or whatever like that. It's like, they, I, I, just, I just did because it seemed like a good idea. Like it seemed very much like their own Decisions. It's normal for history to be revised in favor of those who hold the power. The documents in this library are no exception. It's perfectly possible for someone to have made edits to them, but it's my belief that no one has the power to blot out the truth entirely. I like to read the same texts over and over again. 
That way, I can spot some of the truths hidden between the lines. History is written by the victors. There you go. We were saying that earlier. He probably has different lines if you don't recruit Manuela. That's also fair. I think that's about everything. Now we can go, um, maybe get some... Um... Uh... Motivation back. Because I got a lot of people who are, like, halfway. Small roster, small roster. Oh, Linhart can work with Dorothea now, so that's a thing. Let's throw Linhart at... Okay, Linhart's a gay option, didn't know that. <clears throat> throw Linhart at... Let's check L. She has supports with all these people ready to go. Let's throw her at Dorothea for mealtime. Dining with an ally enhanced, okay? Dorothea and L. Like this. Oh, I love this meal. Uh, crazy DK Zokobo. Zokobo, I don't think he's saying he killed Hanuman as an in combat. Or like, as an enemy. I think he's saying he got Hanuman taken out. Post, uh, pre-time skip. Like, attacked and killed on the battlefield by an enemy. Okay, we're filling in more here. Filling in more. Dorothea's already eaten. Ferdy and Hubert have one ready to go. Let's do Ferdy Manuela. Because they both need it too, I think. Nope, Ferdy's all filled up. So what about... Hubert Bernadetta. They're also ready to go on theirs. Bernadetta, Petra, Felix, Ash. Sure, you eat with Felix real quick. Bernie Felix. Ooh. I'm happy to eat alone, but... I didn't feel too attached to him after he got a zero point level up. I'm lucky that that's never happened to me yet. I've still managed to avoid that particular terribleness. Um, Petra can support with a whole lot of people yet. Let's throw her at Ash. Liking that greatly. This looks delicious. Okay, cool. And I think that's enough that I have. Yeah, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. More than enough to get through at least one training session next time. So, with the two points that I have left, who can train me in things? Dorothea, are you good at anything to train me? Only in reason, okay? And that's not one of my good skills. Bernie could teach me in bows, but I don't want that. Lysithia might be able to teach me in faith. Hmm. Unlikely, I don't think she's that crazy good at it. Professor? Not now, sorry. <laughs> I'll fight with you can, faiths, yes, faiths. Could Caspar teach me about fisties? Yeah. Oh. Yes, fisties! Good. Um, let's go. S 
uh, queue up these last supports that are hanging out on the map. Professor. I do want to see this one. And only this one. Ugh, I'm so sick of it all. There is so much to be done, yet all I encounter are new problems and pitfalls. Ugh, sometimes I wish I could spend just one day doing absolutely nothing and gorging myself on sweets. Let's do just that. Let's do it. <laughs> do you mean it? Just the thought makes me happy. See? Yeah, you have you have too many pressures on you. But Hubert would never allow it. That's too bad. Let's kill him. Indeed. It may not be possible now, but one day we will know the joys of idling. Mark my words. Is that a smirk I spy? <laughs> Is it so amusing to you, me daydreaming of free time? Oh, no, no, you, you, it's, 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 it's pretty funny. <laughs> I see. I'm finally getting an idea of what you think of me. But let's put all that aside for now. There is something I've been meaning to tell you. I'm afraid this might sound a bit sentimental. However, I want to thank you. Because of you, I feel I can walk my faded path without losing myself. If I were alone, I might have lost perspective and become a harsh leader with a heart of ice. But I'm not alone. With you by my side, I'm somehow free to be not only a leader, but simply Edelgard. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Until now, no one has been able to surpass me, much less command me. I have always been seen as an untouchable princess or emperor. No one spoke to me as an equal or met my gaze without flinching. Well, you did start a continent-wide war. It was lonely, terribly lonely. The only person I could rely on as I tried to claw my way out of the darkness was myself. But you, you have been a brilliant light. Somehow you have chased the darkness away. And for that, I will always be grateful. That one was kind of nice. That one was kind of sweet. She's impossible to please. I would hate it if it wasn't hilarious. Yep. <laughs> Support up, wait three seconds, support down. I find every way to make her hate me. Not hate, but to make her think less of me. <laughs> it's just accident into all of them. What's funny is you can get a Hubert support point by agreeing with him. It's like he's listening through the door. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Okay, and then over to the personal quarters. No, okay. Let's go spend the renown, max out one more of these uh, statues. I probably won't get enough to get all four of them in this run, since rounding up another 24, 2500 might be a bit much. Need something? This one? You're all set. See you again soon. But okay, that's been spent. Let's go do the battle. Let's head straight to the bridge. No taking of the monastery. Certification. Somebody still needs to pass something, don't they? Who was it? It was Ash. Ash failed. And Manuela just has nowhere near the stats to even get close to an intermediate class. The only things she ha is even kind of close to are Bishop and Swordsmaster, but Swordsmaster is going to take an A. If I had her be an assassin, she'd have to start using bows. Which she has no interest in, so I guess she's just going Swordsmaster for a while once I get her there. My other units were six levels under this one. Kind of abused time pulses to get out of some situations. <laughs> All the Black Eagles are just a bunch of goofs in their downtime. I, I would have figured that'd be more of a... more of the deer type situation. 
Except, you know, not just downtime, but all the time. Goofs all the time. Ash, don't fail this one. Good. Yeah, the deers are goofs all the time. Oh, what a relief. I made my Pegasus Knights assassins for their advanced class because I feel like it has the highest speed growth. Maybe, but like I already put Manuela through a bunch of lance training. Her bows are at E. In order to become an assassin, she'd have to get a uh, C rank in bows. So like, fuck it. I'll just have her keep working on swords and become a swords master for a little bit of time. Great Bridge Coup. The newly crowned king of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, Dimitri, has declared fealty to the Church of Seros and is raising an army in preparation for all-out war with the Empire. Why does he have both of his eyes? As leader of the Alliance, That's not my Dimitri. maintains a facade of neutrality amidst infighting between those who support and those who oppose the Empire. That's not my Dimitri. Meanwhile, the Black Eagle Strike Force plans to capture Alliance territory before Edelgard takes the war to the Kingdom and the Church of Seros. With sights set on capturing Deirdre at the center of House Regan's territory, she leads a march across the Great Bridge of Murden to establish a bridgehead. This is weird. This is... I, I, I don't know how... Dimitri's gonna act if he still has his eyes. We're about to commence our attack on the Great Bridge of Murden. But first, allow me a moment of your time. What you need? It is something that I can only ask of you. Listen well. It concerns Lady Edelgard's uncle, the regent of the Empire, Lord Arenda. Right. Although he is currently cooperating with Her Majesty, he maintains his own sizable military troops. It seems to me that his plans differ from our own. I assume you recall a certain group scheming from five years ago? Solon and Kranya. They both served Lord Arendelle. What? Why must we cooperate? Professor. I understand how you must be feeling, considering what they did to your father. I know it must be foul to even consider cooperating with their kind. However, their power is essential for us at present. Edelgard also strongly opposed the idea at first. Our enemy is the Church of Seros itself. It cannot be toppled with the Empire's might alone. Those working under Lord Arendelle are extremely hostile toward the Church. And the enemy of our enemy is... Well, I think you sufficiently understand by now. So you're the one that twisted her arm into doing it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Until all of Fodlan is united, it is a necessary evil. As for how we deal with him afterward, time will tell. Regardless, Her Majesty and I wish to join our power with yours. You should know that in her heart, her Majesty regards that group as enemies of herself and her family. They used her father, the former Emperor, as a puppet, and murdered her siblings with their vile experimentation. So it was because of them, the Dark Slitherers, that Elle went into the experiments. I believe Her Majesty may have told you some of this herself. That is why this was a very painful decision for her to make. I will do all I can to ensure her suffering is not in vain. And I hope I can count on you to do the same. As for all I have told you, please keep it in mind as we march forward. More importantly, I implore you to fight as best you can for Edelgard. From the bottom of my heart, 
I beg this of you. Um, this is, this is more, this is more actually allying with straight up evil people. Straight up evil people. No enemy of our enemy, no uh, misguided intention. This is it. Evils. I don't like that. I don't. I don't agree with that. No. Shades of Grey. <laughs> Lawful root. <laughs> no side effect. No. This is getting this is this is getting towards the darker grays. <laughs> stop it. Stop with that weird little otter face. Or Pokemon or whatever it is. Yep, I'm starting on the other side of the bridge again. Hello, Judith. Lord. General Charm. Sword Prowess and Authority. Death Blow. Seal Defense and Avoidance plus 10. A Hexlock Shield that I will get when I kill her. Daphnel, Daphnel Duelists. Elite Defenders of Leicester. And hello again, Ignatz. How's it going? Gonna kill you dead again. Yeah, they, they throw enemy face units at you in the first fight. Huh. Like, another student. Alright, let's, uh, I should bring along Ash because of the chests. So that means we can drop Bernadetta this time, although she's only level 23, she needs so- They didn't get bonus levels! No bonus levels to be had! Maybe a few bonus levels. I don't feel like Ferdy was at level 29 before. Linhart might have been 26. Elle was maybe 25, but like the non-house students. No, because Bernie's still only 23. No, no bonus levels. Her Ferdy, we killed him, Professor. <laughs> they try to use us, we will try to use them better, we hope. Um, yeah, so Bernie's gonna step out of this one. I'll give her as an adjutant to somebody else. Like, let's, let's just give her to Ash. So she's still seeing combat, constantly. Um, Manuela and Petra. I don't know if I need Petra on this one. The enemies are also level 28, but she's the highest I have. It might be better to, um... Actually, I guess Ferdy's 29. I could drop him. Thirty and twenty-two. It's wild that it took this long for NPCs to pick up Lord class. Yeah, I started with that. Daphnel, what are you doing? Judith, Judith. Gonna go to bed later, Crazy DK. Um. Yeah, I gotta, gotta pick and choose somebody here. They are high level, so I feel weird about dropping out Petra. She's somebody that I can rely on to deal with these high levels. But Felix and Caspar are only 26 and 27. I feel like I'm just gonna have to abandon Handjob yet again. <laughs> I don't have need for more magic right now. Give him to Dorothea as a uh, adjutant. So Manuel as a flyer will be good. I'm 
I'm gonna drop Dorothea. She's too strong right now. I don't I don't need that. Twenty-three equivalent defenses. Felix is obviously faster, but not by much. They're not far off, actually. Felix and Caspar are both kind of close to each other. If Arendelle's the leader, I believe that means on the other route we ruined their plan by complete accident because we killed Arendelle on Blue Lion several chapters before Hubert and Elle. Maybe. Foiling evil by complete accident. I haven't fielded Caspar for a long time. I'm gonna actually take him along this time. He's just been an adjutant for so long. So we'll set Dorothea with Hubert. And then, who's still not on the field? Handjob and Felix. Wait, Lysithia made the cut? Huh, she is here. All right, give her Hanneman. that I seem to be pretty okay. L has Amir, Amir now. Crestone weapon designed to Edelgard's specifications, allowing her to use Raging Stone. So she made one. Okay. Items appear to have all been totally refreshed. Is there anything I have to steal here? Because if not, then I can uh, drop Petra. There's a lot of archers in this map and I don't feel good taking along two flyers. Yeah, no stealing needed. Sorry, Petra, you're out too. I'll take Felix along. Raging Storm special thing is ridiculous. In Blue Lions, Edelgard and Hubert's response to finding out Arendelle was killed was like, huh, silver lining. Huh. Yeah, I, I barely remember that. Take the steel back from Bernie. You're still set. Mercedes is okay. Gonna give you the, um... Healing staff, sure. Somebody here should take a knowledge gem. And Ash currently isn't holding anything, so you get to uh, you get the victory. Italians. I got the keyholes. You've got supreme armor. You have Vistra sorcery. King Alliance core. Kingdom Armor Core. Sarah's Holy Monks, none. You can use an Armored Core to give you some more defenses.
Or maybe, yeah, take the Kingdom Archers instead. I'll let Caspar take the Armored Core. Okay, should be cool then. Make sure uh, Ash is on top to go for that chest and then I can send me after this lower chest if I need to. Ash, where are you? You get sent up here. There's no flyers, so there's no particular need for bows. But, Mercy being able to shoot back bows will make her handy on the bottom here, so... Lysithia is going to be much more valuable on the front lines. Manuela can catch up. Linhard can use ranged heals anyways. What are the enemies looking at in terms of offense? We got 35 attack, 29, 42, 28, 23, 44, 37. Not that high, honestly. If we look in on Ferdy, he's got 30 protection, so we would be taking very little damage across the board. Mercedes is 36, making her functionally invulnerable once again to everybody except the Fortress Knights. This warrior. And the bosses. only has 27. She's armored, but she's not as armored. She's got supports with people. I'm, I'm thinking about who would be a good idea to send, like, if I can pair her up with somebody to just go out there and do adjutant stuff. Like, get experience, get uh, skill experience really quickly. Might be a good thing for hand job to do, but um, I don't want him off of Lysithia right now. So we're just going to run with this. I'll use her as a frontline fighter. I'm just not going to warp her into the center. I'm really sad that L can't use magic in her unique class. It would be good. She has a, uh, a hidden talent in it. So for her to go to an armor, armor lord with an axe, but then also a little bit of magic. That would have been awesome. Anyway, I think we're good. Let's see how fast we can do this. We'll be capturing the Great Bridge of Murden, a key strategic location of the Leicester Alliance. Claude will surely be sending reinforcements, so we must prevail before they arrive. Our opponent is Judith, the so-called hero of Daphnel. We can handle her, so long as we don't get careless. The boy said to run if I was in danger, but I could never do that. I'll hold out until reinforcements arrive. Okay, time for the heavy music of the adults timeline. I ended up having Felix and Linhart get killed on this map when I played it, which made feel like crap when everyone had managed to survive the five years. Ooh. This means if a DLC adds a magic armor class, her unique class will mostly stop being used. Elves, you mean? Yeah. I thought all the lords are gonna be like this class, but with something unique tacked on. I'd be honored. A 
I've already seen this place before. Damn, this still looks good. I know he's a sniper, but he's good with axes, so he can still use the axe and be a frontline fighter if I need him to. All right, a ballista here. Forgot about this. Hello, Judith. How are you? And Ignatz. Long cape you're rocking for being a sniper. Oh, and a brave bow. That's gonna be kind of scary. He's got an attack of 44. Heel tile down here. Another chest. All right. Let's... I have to get a glass of water really quickly. My throat's starting to get dry. I'll be back. Ignatz is one of those enemies you don't want to let have a turn. Seems like it. Ignatz feels more like a bard than an actual sniper. I appreciate that the Black Eagles get right to business. Heading straight for the bridge when it takes a while for the blue lines to get this far. I think it's mostly there isn't really anything standing in the way for them. Yeah, that's true too. Dimitri did have to worry about being deposed and whatnot. We had some uh, some other things to clean up first. At your service. Hmm, Fortress Knight with five movement. Come at me, beasts! I love it. I love it. Zero damage. Zero. Zero. Four, uh, z zero times four, zero, eight. All right, you can hurt. Another zero, zero, zero. <laughs> zero. Let's get down to business to defeat the lions. I. Uh, doesn't really doesn't really fit with the uh, with the tune very well, does it? I'm awake. I don't believe you. There's no stopping me. Okay, good. Oh, who did, um, Fruity get himself in range of? This guy, okay. Ah, eyes are starting to feel like they have something in them, too. Let's make this quick. 
I'll cut a bloody path. Oh, you are actually a vampire, aren't you? No blood, no blood, Hubert. I should have given your uh, Caduceus staff over to Lysithia. You don't need a range of four. Like, it, it's a tad terrifying. What's my strategy? For the Empire. I actually kind of want to let them hit Mercy first. I'll cut through. Got Gauntlet's a speed of 21. Oh god, why is he so fast? He could double Felix. Well, he could quadruple Felix with an attack of 29 against his. Okay, he's got 23 protection though, so he should be fine to take this hit. Who's coming for me? All right, I'm fine with that, that works. Let's go ahead and take that staff from you. Oh, but that leaves you with nothing. Why does the Dark Bishop sprite have a little, like, crown hat on it? That's really funny. What can I give you, Hubert? Um, shields, pendant, magic staff. Sure, you can still use the magic staff, you just don't need the extra range. Less targets, please. One should be okay? One should be okay. Just not all of them at once. This route isn't playing around, not looking forward to doing this unmaddening. The Blue Lions route didn't play around either. You saw that first battle, right? Where it was just me and Dimitri and a ton of enemies with silver weapons? Where Ash died and I could not save him? Or do I have to get the garlic spray? Hey. I am playing on hard mode. Maddening is gonna be super suck, but I am playing on hard mode. When I play maddening, I don't think I'm gonna be able to screw around with all of these like extra recruits and stuff. Maddening is going to be a case of pick your units and give them everything. All of the experience. Now's my chance. You are going for 30, okay? <laughs> when she steps back, her feet are wide set for an armor position, and then they just kind of slide close together for her lord stance. Well, um, my Golden Deer playthrough is gonna be on Maddening, so we'll see what happens there. 
I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do it by continuing the same New Game Plus uh, file or if I'm going to do it from scratch. Yeah, now she has some distance, but before I move her out into there, I need to make sure that I'm not leaving her completely defenseless. So that's my asthma you. Um, this might have been a bad idea. I didn't look at everybody that's around me. It is all for her majesty. Uh, I saw that the From Scratch reward is a slightly different title screen. It's obviously minute. It's just like something. It's a it's a bragging rights reward. Twelve damage on Hubert. Okay, he can take that. Caspar does not do enough damage to punch past this uh, grappler. So maybe I have him come hit this brawler instead. It's considerably less, but I can have him act as a bit of a wall. Just a little bit. Little wall. You're all going down. Good job, have this useless color change. Now go outside. So I can Nosferatu you for to leave you with 12. Then Mercy could do 20 to you. So I have a way to kill the Fortress Knight. You want to attack Mercy, you could hit Caspar. You're going to do 9 to Caspar. He'll be fine. Okay, he can act as a bit of a wall tank there for Hubert. Lysithia can't get far enough for you. I was kind of hoping you could. L also can't do it because this guy has big avoidance. So everything that's not my battalion is going to take, like, just almost no chance of hitting. I still have Felix, though. Okay, so let's do this. So totally unnecessary. I'm glad you've been training, Lysithia. Nice form. I can smash. Okay, I can smash. That'll give me a little bit more accuracy. Come on, Al. Don't miss this. Oh, good. You critted. <laughs> I do not tolerate obstacles. Good job. Nice pose too. Mmm. Animators. My ambitions are within. Animators, good job on that. She has a good pose. Very readable. Very commanding looking. Not, not this. This is good too. But the stance she took when she came back, like right after killing, the victory stance. Really good pose. More physical attack. Yeah, her battalion. Learn from that. Her battalion is giving her magic attack, so she's definitely like got one that would cover her both ways if she wanted to go magical too. Uh, you are 26, and Mercy is also 26, so. Uh, 
Let's do this faith thing. Hopefully, I don't kill the poor man. Allow me to demonstrate. Well, so much for that. All is going to plan. You make me feel safe. Nice form. Your dance moves after you killed them were nice. I appreciated them. <laughs> Thanks. Take shot may as well. It's right here. We'll let me. We'll let Mercedes take this and get close enough to tempt this archer to come at me too. Good. Manuela 25, Ash at 24, just one step out of range, but I have to kill this guy before I can safely put him on the ballista. We will help us. Let's let Manuela work on some. Does now or never. Ferdinand have a scar? That looked more like a shadow. Everyone's equal in battle. Got hidden talents. Can't kill, but I can do a bunch of damage. Can we go for the axes or the swords? I do still need a bit of axes if I want to put him into a great knight later on, so... But you have a very poor chance of landing it. Screw it, go for it. Zoom in on his face, maybe it was just the bridge's environment. Yeah, I think it was a shadow. Because I don't see it on his portrait there. Yeah, his, his face is uh, regrettably unmarred. Did we get both crescent sickles, or was it just the one? We did indeed get both, yes. I have them, I have them both. Hey, there we go, let's dead eye him. Don't even give him a chance. Boof! It's my duty. That battalion was gonna run into that wall right there. You guys know you're not gonna get away that way. Bernie's just no good. Bernie really is still cursed. Bernie, I don't know. I don't think Bernie's coming back. This is two runs where Bernie has not, not really done well at all. <laughs> yep, Caspar's fine, he can take it. That's a good pose. Axe handle on the floor, shield out to the side. Looks very nice. So that's also a paladin then. It has to be, because the horse has, uh, has armor over its back legs. No, it's a cavalier. 
Oh, the paladin must just be like upgraded armor. Yes, he doesn't have armor on the neck, and it's just a circle armor on the back. I see. Well, I kind of need to deal with this fortress knight that's fast approaching. So let's do this. That knocks you out. And now Ferdy is free to defend from everything else that's about to come in at him. Good, good. Another one down. A boon for our future. Back up a bit. I don't want you attracting too much attention, just a bit here and there. Good, so she can come Levin sword this guy a couple times. No chance of crit, but it will do the damage that I need. And then she has just enough to flow out. Or to fly out. Fortress Knight fast approaching doesn't sound right. More like slowly strolling. Fine, this Fortress Knight slowly strolling approaching. We'll get him, we'll get him. So L has a defense of 28. You've got 42, which is 14 on your own. Um, 47, that's gonna be 19. That's another seven. She can't take all that heat on her own. She's in armor, but she's not that tanky. There, that's a good spot. So I can throw this little hatchet at you. And I can take the damage from the armor knight, or from the fortress knight, and still be okay. Mercedes can walk forward and attract all the attention. Because only the barbarian, or only the warrior, is going to be able to hurt her. 36, that's 11 damage. If it crits, it'll be 33, but she should be okay. She should be okay. Just make sure I'm being careful about how I approach. Because this is a story battle, deaths are permanent. Yeah. I don't expect forgiveness. 11 damage, zero. Great. 27, seven, 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 six. can also just impregnable wall you. Yeah, to make sure that you're okay. And Caspar needs the authority work anyways. Who's got the other one? Mercy does, okay. Make sure you're okay. We'll let Felix... He's 20... Yeah, he's still 26. He needs the kill. Most excellent. All right, next. You go down, and he's close to B in bows. All right. Anybody here wounded? No, so Lysithia can't really do anything. Let's have me heal. Oh. 
keep building that faith work. Draw back. Okay, good. I was barbarian. I wish barbarian was still a class, though. I get it. Probably wouldn't be that different from warrior. Yeah, yeah. Well, barbarian and warrior actually were kind of different. I think barbarian was more of well, brigand, wasn't it? Barbarian and brigand were the same thing. Or was a barbarian an upgraded brigand? For the fate of Foden. I must out with even death. Good level. Strength, dex, more defense. Um Berserker is the other one I'm thinking. There's a lot of acts using classes that start with B. Big ol' one damage, you cannot hurt me. Okay. I love, I love this. <laughs> Fortress Knight with a bow. Oh, fuck. Less fuck? Judith, I'm so glad you're Real safe. fuck. Claude sent me here with reinforcements. Um. I have to put up with orders from that false leader. Because you're from the smallest noble house in all the Alliance, you whiner. Enemy reinforcements. We didn't finish in time. Don't let them secure the ballista. This is like turn three. Turn four. How? We didn't finish in time. I'm sorry we didn't punch through the entire bridge and kill the leader in three turns. She's a paladin. She's got 28 protection, 45 attack. Even if I throw Manuela at her, she can't get away. And then I've got a bunch of archers and wyverns bearing down. Is a silver lance, rivalry, canto, lance fair, terrain resistance, lance prowess, desperation. And strength. You're close enough to hit Ash, even if I uh even if I move Linhart. There is a safe spot for Linhart. But I have to kill these guys now if I want to get this chest. The safest spot for Manuela is going to be on the south with everybody else. And I need to... Ah, oh, fucking... I was just going to say, I might be able to push them out the bridge this way, but then we've got all of these guys that are coming in on us. And that whole area is under Ignatz's, um, watchful eye. This is pretty dickish on hard, even on normal. I think this group of enemies managed to kill Linhard on my run. And I don't have Dorothea for either dancing or meteors. All of my forces are in the south where there are no enemies left to be a problem. I gotta tempt Ignatz out. It's the only way. If 
if I can kill these two units, I can get Ferdy out here to act as a decoy. They have 28 attack. He's got 30 protection. He can tank the whole lot of this. Except for this bastard who has poison strike and poison. Played this on Golden Deer, so I did a double take when I saw Edelgard there. <laughs> yeah, this this is not the deer run. I'm facing down the deer. I've got Ignatz here, and Leone just showed up with a bunch of reinforcements to ruin my day. What's up, girl? Yeah, you're, you're just as terrifying as you were when I controlled you. My suggestion currently, sorry, my my idea currently is to have Manuela and Ash work on taking this armor knight out. Then I have Ferdy kill the archer and get out here. Act as a decoy. Like, just do whatever I can to keep these guys from getting in here. Simultaneously, I'm going to move Mercedes down into this area and attract Ignatz's attention away. That should give me some time to have Ash and uh, Linhart sort of hang out here. While I send the rest of my army kind of northwards, trying to attract their attention if I can. L is 29. But she's slow. Leonie would double her no matter what. If I get those guys out of out of their sight range, I might be able to attract these guys' attention south instead of to the east. Cuz I could throw Caspar up here to impregnable wall her. and then have her just act as a decoy for a turn. Try to get them to come after me instead. I can't get in range of the Wyvern, so the only one I could attract is uh, Leone. She's also the most dangerous. I just gotta go with it, I gotta do something. Good. Okay, that frees up Ash. A lack of rescues is also kind of hurting me here. The roar of battle. I have Linhart's warp too. I could get Ash out entirely. The archers would the archers would do four to Ferdinand a piece, but they're slow. The wyverns would do eleven a piece, and Leone is fast enough to actually hurt him. If I use the sword, I can prevent Leone from hurting me, but that's the only way. get Leonie down here, I could start gambiting her and lock her down that way. I want to make sure I pull out Ignatz as far as possible so I can descend on him and kill. So Mercy needs to step here. Okay. 
At least his warp. You're not wrong. But I don't think it's a good idea to warp somebody up there. Because once they're, they're just kind of stuck. Wyverns would do five to Mercy. You would do nine, and you're definitely fast enough to double her. I have to get Le like, that's the tricky part. I have to get Leone down to where the rest of my army can surround her. I could theoretically move Fer like I could warp Ferdinand over here, have him wave attack, lock down a few of them for one turn. But without knowing what the odds on wave attack are, I don't know. I, I do have plenty of uh, reverses if I need it for that. And Ash is good enough to kill this guy on his own, so that saves Manuela. Okay, do that. I must steal myself. Okay, good. Mm. I'm getting closer to my goals. Good level, good Ash level. Why don't we get by with just moving Lin in one space? Uh, Iza, because that doesn't save me at all. All that does is keep me out of attack range for one turn. I need to move because I need to get my, I need to plan for the next turn. And if all I do is move him here, then he's dead next turn because he's going to be surrounded on all sides by uh, riders. Oh, fuck, right, now she has access to the Ballista, so I have to keep her locked down. I can probably save the warp, do it with stride instead. Because that gives him a lot of movement for um, getting back out. Back to the fray. Thank you. If I come all the way in here, gambit on you. It's a hundred percent odds of hitting Leone. Okay. So that's good to know because I can do that next turn. This time I'm gonna rely on the AoE because this will lock down both of the um, flyers as well. Exploit their weak spots. This is something I can only do because I'm a new game plus. This is Dimitri's battalion. <laughs> Stand there. I don't want you getting locked out. Four damage, four damage, zero, perfect. This is, this is good. We have successfully stalled them for one turn. And once Leone is down, I think Elle can help up here because she's gonna, she's gonna take some time to get there, but Alan Ferdinand, I think, are a good combo to do this. So let's use her warp. Put you up here. I 
I could Raging Flames right now and take her out. And then I have archers coming after me. It's, it's my best bet. It's 40 damage. I'm sorry, Leone. I... You're too dangerous to leave alive. You're all Captain Gerald's enemies, and I will avenge him Oh, here. God. Oh, but... Okay, I'm... If this works, awesome, but I want to see what she says to me. So I'm, I might rewind this a couple times just so I can see the unique dialogue. We won't hold back. <sighs> now I know it'll work. Judith, I'm sorry. I'll leave the rest to you. Leone, you had such a full life ahead of you. I wish I could take your place. There's no reason I should die in this place. It's time for me to return home. <laughs> he just bails. He takes his whole army, his whole retinue. They're just gone. Okay. I mean, I could have used that XP. Yeah, so save there. I don't know if I'm actually gonna do that this turn. No, 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 no. I said I would, I I, I, I committed to that. The f changing my plan because this guy bailed, not okay, not okay. Gotta stick to what the plan originally was. Only modifying the plan slightly so that I can have a uh, Shubliss try to get in there. Let's make this quick. What's my strategy? <clears throat> Excuse me. Put me in there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna come back to this moment because I gotta do a lot of fucking around to try to get him a little bit closer. I don't think I'm gonna make it this turn regardless. Bloody path. I'll cut through. Um, assist, warp you. Okay, I can get close enough. Professor, you know Captain Gerald's killer was connected to the Empire. Why did you side with them? Answer me, traitor! Yeah, yeah, I feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> I, th this, this route doesn't make me feel good in any way. <laughs> Okay, back to plan A. Let's make this quick. Yes! This route does not feel good. It does not feel good. I don't feel good. I don't feel like a good guy. For the Empire. <laughs> You're all back. Already seen it, already seen it. Ba boom. Uh Just cold eyes. Oh, cold. Leon, there's no. Now you go. You take all your dudes with you. I'll cut through. Make sure I track Ignatz's space so that I don't actually accidentally put somebody in it. I'll cut a bloody path. That's too much. You're gonna kill Lysithia, so I'm afraid you have to die, Mr. Brawler, dude. Here comes the death! 
Hardly worth the effort. We will burn together? Is that what you said? God! You're relentless. Why are you such a demon, Hubert? 51 damage! Not fast enough. I can't do the damage I need to to take you out. I can double you. So we're going to do that, and I'm going to let uh, Caspar slash Shoopless work on the other dude. You haven't earned my pity. Put me in there. There we go. That's what I'm after. Yeah, you hit A rank in uh, fisties. Awesome. Let's get you there in axes too. Yeah, Gauntlets has more of a chance for him to miss. Didn't, but it had a chance. Big win. We'll burn together. That's one of my favorite crit quotes in the game. Cool. The results speak for themselves. It's intimidating. Lysithia with the accurate comment. You're relentless. HP, strength, and dex. Okay. That, that works. That's a good three-pointer for him. He can hurt things, finally. There was a time, like, earlier this week when he had... 16 strength? <laughs> What's my strategy? This is it. Claude, I'm sorry. I couldn't defend the bridge. All who are able, retreat! No. Don't let her escape. If we can take her out now, the Daphnil territory will be ours. Oh, I don't feel good! <laughs> that will allow us to march safely through the Alliance. And now we're hunting retreating combatants? <laughs> I told you the Empire was bad guys. I told everybody the Empire was bad guys. When I was playing the Lions, I'm like, they have to be bad guys. Everybody's like, nah, they're, they're not so bad. This is absolutely bad guys. <laughs> Dimitri felt like a bad guy, but he was, he was very, very shattered. This is not a shattered person. Elle is 1000% in control of her faculties and her orders. She knows what she's doing, which makes it worse. I'd be honored. Okay, the ballista's gonna give me, um, eyes on them as they get out. That's good, at least, I think. I should probably get the chest this time, but that means that I have to kill who's still here. Shouldn't be that bad. Elle can sort of hold on to this herself here. This is gonna suck. This is all gonna suck. This run is gonna suck. This run is cursed in RNG, but it's not, it's, it, it. The RNG has been trying to warn me. This run is cursed because I'm choosing to play the evil ones. Ready for anything. Birdie, you bastard, I need you to get this as a kill shot. Cause I gotta go. Can you not? I set up somebody for you to come and attack, Ignatz. Why you gotta be like this? Now I've lost Lysithia's warp too. 
I have no speedy units down here. They're all running away top speed, and this is like all my slow boys. Maniacal, get out of here. <laughs> I don't think he's in the he's, he's, he's in the chat, but he's dropping fucking giant buff Mercedes in my Discord right now. <laughs> yeah, you're ch you're chasing down retreating soldiers and siding with the Slither dudes. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's no stopping me. Okay, this dude has three and 42 attack. You do not have close counter, okay. Three speed, 42 attack. 15 defense, that's gonna be 30, 27. A heavy, heavy hit. If I can lock you down here for one turn, that's one less threat. I am helping Claude build the future of Fodlin. I have a strategy. Okay, good. Manuel is serving me well. That keeps you stuck there. She's safe, and the Fortress Knight can't hit her either. I think I got a warp Ferdy out here. It's the only way I'm gonna get in get get in their way and be able to stop them. You have 41 attack power, 15 speed, 21 speed, 41 attack power versus my 15 is gonna be 25. Ah, Ash can't survive that. I could if I used a vulnerary, but I want to get the chest. Would, I'm thinking I'd like to save his gambit for like if I can lock her down out here for a turn or two that buys me time to catch up and of course she has a movement of six she's faster than everybody I have that's not mounted this would have been a grand place to take uh, Petra to I'm realizing now You come and run at me. I have 22 protection. You've got 23 attack. Yeah, you'll be one damage. Big scares. Steel sword. Okay, so I can hit back on you. That's one less target. I'm gonna send Felix this way. Convoy out a chest key and then try to make a break for the south one. Thank you. Unexpected. Quick retribution. Thank you, Acknowledged. Thanks. Unexpected. These guys still, I... I want to be done with the Wyvern Knight, but the only way I can do it is by using Ferdinand's wave attack. Nothing else I have is gonna hurt enough. Oh wait, I have a Crescent Sickle, Shatter Slash. That's a, it, mm, okay, three. Three's not bad. Bam! 
No time for pity. Wouldn't you, Hubert, half a kilometer away? <laughs> run, run, don't look back. Okay, and then I can assist warp you to... That works. Cody's gonna get MVP again. This dude is too valuable to me. I can't even joke hate on him anymore. He's really... Battle does have its best. Really good. <laughs> that was a good level for Linhart, by the way. Big ups. Okay, got a side. So that's some stat boosters. Have you sacrificed him this chapter? I have not. This is a really good time to. You're right. Assuming I can get Judith to, um, to attack. Charm, luck, dexterity. Not a, not a great level for, for an armor user. They're more likely to run past him. I believe you might be right. I can still try, though. They all look like they're targeting him right now. Oh, she has an effective weapon. Yeah, she has rapier. He was so useful for you, you forgot to sacrifice him. He really is growing on you. No! Good news, I can kill him. Because I can attack Judith right now, and then she will, like, do a ton of damage back to me, and then next turn I can do the same thing. I just need to hit her with the weak shit. There we go. Iron Axe! Obviously, flag goes in the ground here. This is my rewind point for uh, after the Ferdinand deaths. I'm done for. Claude, I'm sorry. I had things I wanted to do! <sighs> you far quad! Oh, you limp sack of boiled eggs! You mushy grapes of a person! This is revenge for you torturing me with arrows last time you were here. <laughs> I am Ferdinand Von Eyre. I have become death. I was the death knight all along. It was me from the future. <sighs> Sit down, Ferdy. <laughs> Take all the strength I can get. Alliance soldiers, Judith has fallen. Further conflict is futile. I didn't have a chance to kill Ignatz. <laughs> this is a historical moment. <laughs> if you surrender, your lives will be spared. Lay down your weapons immediately. Okay, good. Not... Not Ferdinand. <laughs> that ended sooner than expected. Yeah, it did! I didn't want it to end that way. <laughs> Rip that brave boat. No! Well, with this victory, we now have a foothold in the Alliance. Damn it! No! Ignatz is gonna draw a magnificent painting of Ferdy's legacy. <laughs> the 
The Imperial Army will cross the Aramid River and push the front lines forward. The fight will continue, but do not allow that to stop you from taking pride in our hard-won victory. Ah, this should put a stop to one of Edelgard's choice phrases. Well done, Professor. I believe it was, if only the Professor were here, we could forge ahead and change the tides of this war. She said that uh, several times a day, is that right? Ferdinand, it is not necessary to tell the Professor such things. I don't need to listen to you anymore, Edelgard. <laughs> I have proven myself your superior, finally. <laughs> We're not the only ones benefiting. The whole Imperial Army is stronger now. Yes, it seems the Empire finally has both of its legs to stand on. Don't you agree? <sighs> you make it sound as though I can't run the Empire on my own. Perhaps it's more apt to say that the Pegasus has recovered its horn. Judith of Daphne. Oh, what a magnificent warrior. I'm happy to have the Professor back just like old times, but... I don't think I'll ever get used to this cruel exchange of lives. When there is something you must not be conceding, you must keep fighting. The fighting has been continuing for five years. But now I am again witnessing the Professor's power. I hate fighting. But with the Professor here, maybe it's slightly less terrible? Oh, but everyone is working so hard. Stop it, Bernie. You can't be the only one complaining. Don't worry. You're very close to getting sent back to your room for the rest of the war. I'm glad to see everyone so inspired. It seems the reappearance of the Professor has done much to raise your morale. Do you not feel the same, Hubert? Come now, be honest with yourself. Now, we must take advantage of the situation and blaze ahead. Our path is still a long one. Even when Ferdinand succeeds, he somehow still messes something up. He threw that brave bow off the bridge. 8%. 8% crit. What a fart bag. Even the way Hubert talks sounds like he's hollow and dry. Inspired it.